this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm on a big wooden bridge. i got to be honest with you, as I start off this episode, um, I've, I, I don't know if you're going to be angry at me. I'm just going to be completely honest here, because I think it's best to, to come clean. Uh, I've been playing the game of Tears of the Kingdom without recording. Calm down. Calm down, delete your angry comments, <laughs> or don't write them, because <laughs> uh, I found an ancient tree stump. Yeah, so basically, let me explain why. So what I've been doing, I haven't done anything proper. Um, basically, I just went down to the um, the the depths to get some more pose in order to, to try and get that outfit. And then I just did, um, I wish I could do the thing you could do in Breath of the Wild, where it shows like a little line for where you've been. Maybe you can do that or it's something you get later on, but that would be nice. Basically, I just looked around like this area. Because, like, I realised I had gone, like, straight up here, almost in a straight line, and I hadn't explored anywhere around. So I basically, I went and looked at this island, and I kind of looked around here a little bit, and then around this area, uh, just looking for cork seeds and stuff. Like, literally for, like, I don't know, half an hour or something. Uh, and uh, I came up here, and I saw this giant tree stump, and then I came up here and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. I will start recording. So, yes... I have been playing without you, but <laughs> as soon as it looked like I found something interesting, um, I started recording again. I hope you can forgive me. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go inside of this uh, this tree stump. Discovery! Ancient tree stump cave. This is cool. God, it's absolutely enormous down here. It looked like kind of like, like as I said, I was exploring the area, it looked like kind of like nothing from the, the top. But down here, it's like a, a whole big, uh, a whole big giant cave. Oh God, there's one of those things. I do not like those things. Uh, it would be nice to take out some of these bats if I can, just because the uh, the eyeballs have actually turned out to be like one of the um, the the most useful uh, abilities that uh, that I have. Oh, okay, let's uh, take out one of the uh, the bats. And then these guys. I don't know if I, I don't think I've properly like worked out what the technique is meant to be for these guys, but it seems like they want you to to shoot bombs at them, and then that gives you a chance to attack them. Uh, feel free to to let me know in the the comments if this is kind of like what what you're meant to do if there's something better. Because, yeah, they kind of go out like that, and then you can get, like, a bit of damage in. And then they go back up again. I mean, it seems to be working. I guess this is a uh, a fine strategy. And, yeah, I'm, I'm always up for, like, tips in the comments, by the way. Uh, but people that know me will know that I'm very, um... I'm, I'm very scared of spoilers with almost anything uh, that I watch. Like, you know, as I mentioned, I didn't even, like, really watch all of the, the trailers for this game. Just because if I know I'm going to play it, I don't want to bother watching a trailer for it. Um, but, uh, like, I'm fine with tips. So, so you could say, like, leave a tip saying, Hey, did you know you can uh, attach a minecart to your shield and you can skateboard on it? Like, that's that's a comment that I have got a lot. Uh, things like that are fine. Like, things like, oh, put the eyeball on the arrows. That stuff's good. But be very careful... By not, like, saying anything too substantial, because it could rob, like, a discovery from me. Like, it could, if it's something that, like, I had a good chance of, like, working out myself anyway, and, like, or, like, just an area that I haven't got to yet that might be exciting, like, that stuff, try to, try to contain your excitement if you can, and, uh, and just be patient with me. I know I'm probably playing through the game a little bit slower than you, that's because, uh, because I'm recording, but I'll get there in the end. There's also been uh, a few people, more than one, that have always been, like, trying to compete with me to, like, finish the game first. And for one, I'm recording and, like, not only just recording these episodes, but editing them as well, which takes way longer than recording them. Recording them just takes as long as it took me to play it. Editing takes way longer. And also, like, I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time. Like, this is, like, Breath of the Wild, like, my second favourite game of all time. Like, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to take my time playing through the, the sequel. Like, seeing credits is not my goal. Seeing everything that there is in the game to discover, that is my goal. <laughs> well, probably not everything. That might, uh, that might not quite be possible, but as many glowing cavefish as I can. Uh, right, looks like the cave carry on, uh, carries on going up here. Let's, uh, let's go up uh, here first and get my stamina up before we start doing that big climb. It looks like going up from this side might be the, uh, the easiest way to, to get up there. So am I just gonna like come out of another stump somewhere? Or is this leading somewhere else? Oh wait, there's, there's stuff down here. There's like, there's construction? Are, like, are there, like, people or things living down here? Like, I, mean, I know it was, like, an enormous tree stump, but I didn't think there was going to be, like, 
anything as, a, as special as this down here. Uh, and the opals as well. And uh, unless is that it? Oh no, it still, still keeps going. Still keeps on going. Do you like my uh, blue Boku blade? Extra durable that I made. I put one of those like giant like tree stump mallet things, and uh, it was a snowstorm. So I had to make sure, not a snowstorm, a uh, thunderbolt, a uh, lightning storm. Uh, so I had to make sure that I put um, something that wasn't metal on it. So I've actually made a uh, pretty powerful weapon, which is good in all weather conditions. And it looks like we've discovered something here. So if you are playing through the game, uh, hopefully I am kind of giving you a, a few good discoveries of, uh, of things that you can find as you go through. Like I found, uh, I found some pretty good stuff so far. And what have we found in here? Hopefully it's an outfit. That's the best thing to find. Oh, it is! Fierce deity boots. Oh, it puts my attack power up. Oh, these are great. According to legend, these boots were once worn by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. Wearing them provides godlike power. A world where a moon was threatening to fall. I wonder if that's like a reference to like another like game or something. I don't think it's a reference. No, it's definitely not a reference to another Zelda game. I wonder if it's like a, a reference to like um maybe like Pokemon Sun and Moon or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what it could be. Only joking. I know it's a reference to Majora's Mask. I just had to wind up all of the Zelda people for a little bit. I know it's a reference to Majora's Mask. I've played Majora's Mask. I kind of wish I played through those on the, the channel. So I played through... Um, I guess I, I've never really shared my Zelda credentials. Because I was a, I was a latecomer to, to Zelda. The first Zelda I played was A Link Between Worlds, which was the 3DS one. Um, and I loved it. Like, that is still, to this day, my second favourite Zelda game. I guess, kind of, I'm not including Tears of the Kingdom yet, because I haven't finished it yet. I can't really, uh, I can't really judge it. Uh, but yeah, my favourite is Breath of the Wild, and then I'd say Link Between Worlds is my second favourite. I adore that game. I know, like, because it's a newer game, like, people don't have as much nostalgia for it, so I feel like it doesn't get spoken about as much, but I love it. Uh, and then, obviously, Breath of the Wild, you all know about that. <laughs> uh, and then I also went back on the... Oh, yeah, I can get my Dark Tunic now. This is what I was talking about. Um, I also went back and played both um, Breath of the Wild... Uh, not Breath of the Wild, uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on the 3DS. And I loved both of them. If I had to pick a favourite between the two, it would probably be Ocarina of Time, which I know is probably the uh, the boring answer. And I can put my trousers on as well here. And then my Dark Tunic, I think this helps me against Gloom, right? That's this one here. Um... Oh, a table offering pose. Uh, a truly old table offering pose. A statue. It's made of replica of green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. Oh, it doesn't say anything about protecting about gloom. It just looks cool. I mean, it hasn't got the good climbing ability, but it's just quite cool being like dark uh, link. Uh, yeah. So out of the two, I probably prefer Ocarina of Time, but it's pretty close. Uh, between the the two of them, and then what else have we got? Oh yeah, we have got Link to the Past. I played that. I actually played that on. Um, uh, Game Boy Advanced, if you can uh, believe that, like, uh, and, uh, like on an actual, <laughs> like Game Boy Advance, like a physical Game Boy Advance, like not like a, an emulated one or that version on the 3DS or Switch or anything. I played the uh, the actual Game Boy Advance version of that, and uh, that was great. Although I will say, like, it's an amazing game, but I did prefer Link Between Worlds. I think. There was just a few bits in it that frustrated me uh, a little bit uh, on it. I think that, like, yeah, like it could have done with, like, a, a few little modernizations, but, like, it's still amazing today. And, like, in its day, it must have been, like, like the best game ever. Like, it probably was <laughs> the best game ever made when it came out. Uh, and then what else do we have? Uh, I played Minish Cap on, once again, on Game Boy Advanced. And I believe that's it for Zelda. I never played any of the, um... Was it like the Hyrule Warriors ones? Is that, they, is that what they were called? Hyrule? I think it's called Hyrule Warriors. Um, the, the ones that like came out, there was one on 3DS and the one on Switch. The ones that like, where you're battling big waves of enemies. I think that's what it was called. Uh, I never played any of them. Um, just because like, even though it was like carrying on the same story and stuff, like I'll be honest, I'm not like the biggest person. I don't know Zelda lore. I don't know the Zelda timeline. In my head, they've all just kind of been <laughs> standalone games without uh, anything to, you know, without any real connection between them. I know that's not the case, and they have kind of, like, come up with some lore for it and, like, linked them all up, but, yeah, that's not, not something that I've really uh, thought too much about. Uh, but, yeah, so I think I think that's it for, for me. Uh, oh, yeah! No, I played uh, I played Link's Awakening. I played the, uh, the remake of that on Switch, and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. It was good. Like, it wasn't mind-blowing, but it was good fun, and I loved the uh, the art style on it. It's probably um, one of my favourite-looking uh, ones out of uh, all of the, the games. 
And I think that's it, because I haven't played any of the other older ones, and I've not played like... I've not played any of like the GameCube or Wii ones, so I've not played Twilight Princess, and I have not played Skyward Sword. Uh, oh no! I, I have played Wind- I, I keep forgetting- okay, I keep thinking that I've not played that many, but I've also played Wind Waker, which, surprisingly, I wasn't uh, a big fan of. Once again, I loved the, uh, the art style of it, and I thought I was going to love it when I started it, but I just didn't enjoy it. I don't know why. It's really hard to kind of pin down exactly what it is about it. Um, I, maybe it was the sailing, or... I think it was just like the overall structure of the game. Something about it, it just didn't click for me. So sorry, uh, Wind Waker fans, because I know that one is uh, much beloved. But for me, for some reason, uh, I wasn't the, the biggest fan. So uh, we, we are meant to be heading northwest towards um, Rito Village area. But there was a house up there, and I also saw another one of those um, big drawings on the, the side. So... I wonder, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll keep going to Rito Village and I'll mark these areas just to, to make sure I don't forget to, to come back with them. And whoa, you, you held your own there. Uh, even if it looks weak, a monster is still a monster. You always got to stay on guard. I've got to give you a little something for saving me, right? I hope this helps. Energizing Buttered Stam Bulb. The name's Kalissa. I'm a legendary treasure hunter in the Gerudo. Nice to meet you. Have you heard about the strange phenomenon going on all over the regions of Hyrule? Ah. Islands floating in the sky and caves opening up everywhere? It's a dream come true for treasure hunters. A legendary treasure hunter, I am more than happy to share some tips with you. The key to making new discovers is being able to get somewhere high up. A cliff, ruins that have fallen from the sky, as long as it's high up, it'll work just ah. fine. So get high up and look around. You're bound to discover all kinds of things. I'd better get going, but I hope we meet again. Savork! <laughs> and then she's straight back into another battle. Right, let me uh, let me just help you uh, deal with uh, these. Seeing as uh, seeing as I'm here, yeah. What do you reckon then? Shall I shall I keep going? Shall I keep going to Rito Village? Because I want to actually arrive there. But let let's mark these things. So tell if I if I do that. And then where was the, uh, that the house was there. But because I don't want to use up my markers, I can now go to the map and see exactly where these were. And I can just put down these markers. So there was a person here. So let's put that down to say there was a person. And then here, there was a big thing. So let's say, like, let's do, like, a, a few stars. If I just do, like, a bunch around the area, then I'll remember that it's important. <laughs> so I'll go back to the, uh, the stars over that way. Because I want to- I want to keep on heading this way. So that shrine there, I have already done. So that one's been ticked off. We don't need to, to stress about that. Uh, so yeah, uh, oh yeah, I found that, um, the last episode, I think I ended it when I found that, like, um, opening into the, uh, the depths. I believe that is where I ended it. So we're about to head into, to brand new territory. Oh, I found a, uh, Korok place. Uh, let me just show you where I am on the map, just in case uh, you want to find yourself. So, uh, uh, next to Mount Rome, I believe that is. There is a, a little one of the ones that you've got to dive through. So I can't remember, do you actually have to dive in these? Or if you like, actually, if I go here and then dive. That's I can't remember if you just have to fall through them, or if you, uh, if you actually uh, have to dive. Uh, for all of you that have a really good memory, and remember that... Um, oh, do you reckon there's anything behind that waterfall? I don't think I know. I think I can see the the rocks behind it, but that's a, that's a common one, isn't it, for video games? Yeah, for those of you that remember really well that there was one of those. Um, oh, look at that! That's like a big storm up there. I really want to go to more Sky Islands. Anyway, for those of you that have a really good memory, <laughs> you might remember when I started trying to do this sentence because it was a long time ago now um, that I saw one of those circles of lily pads just outside of Hyrule Castle. In case any of you are, are wondering whether I did go back and get it, uh, I did. That has been done. That has been ticked off. So you have nothing to, to worry about there. I have not forgotten about that. Uh, right, let's uh, follow our Gerudo's advice. And let's uh, let's get somewhere high then, shall we? That That's where we've, uh, we've been up there. We've fallen down there. But let's go to the, uh, the top of Mount Rome. Oh no, I can see our buddy trying to put up Hudson sign. Hey, buddy. Right, okay, I don't even need to talk to him. I know what's, uh, what's going on here. Right, what do we have to work with? So, there's a bunch of rocks around here. So, in all the previous ones, there's been a few more building materials. Can I... I mean, can I just shove a rock under it? I mean, it, it feels like a bit of a crude solution, but... 
Sometimes the uh, the simple ones are the best ones, and he's not too fussy about having it uh, completely upright. So let's uh, let's see whether this will um, be acceptable. Right, try letting go. What are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Oh, oh, I th I think it's wedged in enough. It's just staying. Oh, perfect. It's going to be a, a perfectly straight sign on the uh, the top of this mountain. Right. So in the past, he's given me like some um, some rupees and. Um, uh, some food as well in the the past he's given me. So let's see, let's see what we get. President Hudson, blah 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 blah. You can take this twenty rupees, better than nothing, I guess. The food is what I care about. Ooh, I love some hasty mushroom rice balls. Nothing gets me up in the morning better than cake. But second place is hasty mushroom rice balls, <laughs> and something else as well. Is it going to be one of those things? Oh, a puff shroom. Well, thank you, uh, thank you very much. And off he goes. I've enjoyed these little uh, sign puzzles. Like any excuse that the the game has to to force me to to use Ultra Hand, like I would enjoy just because I'm desperate to to play with all of the uh, the new toys. Uh, also, I've seen that there is a, a shrine down here, and um, I haven't got the. Uh, I know I was saying about like let's get straight to the uh, <laughs> Torito Village, but I do not have the uh, the strength to walk past a shrine without completing it. And I love doing the the shrine. So um, uh, we have a Korok thing first. Probably one of the uh, the easier ones of these I've ever seen. I mean, that's just it, right? It just needs to go here. Is that it? Oh, maybe it's not one of the easiest ones. Or was that just not lined up very well? Oh, maybe maybe there's a... Uh... Oh, no. Okay. I was just a little bit wonky. I was going to say, maybe there was another rock that I needed to, to fill in. But there we go. We got one of them. Oh, yeah. I also didn't mention that Hetsu has gone back to... I always forget the name of that place. And I should do. Is that the um, Lookout Landing? Yeah. Hetsu went back to Lookout Landing. And for now, at least, he seems to be uh, staying put there. So I have uh, been able to upgrade my uh, inventory a little bit. So if you're wondering why I randomly had <laughs> less um, Korok seeds uh, than I had before, do not panic. They did not fall out of my pockets while I was bumbling around the place. Uh, I was able to, to finally get some upgrades to my inventory, which was good because they were <laughs> very much needed. I was feeling the the squeeze. I also had some really good tips from people. I had uh, some people that were really saying, don't worry about stamina at first, just keep upgrading your health. So thank you everyone that uh, suggested that. Also, I had a bunch of people giving me tips saying, uh, don't worry too much about heart containers, upgrade your stamina. So thank you both of you uh, for giving me advice. I will follow it. Uh, right then, so it looks like we have an archery challenge. So I did one of these before. I had to do like the, the slow motion shooting ones. But to be honest, these these combat ones are so boring. Um, I'm, I'm just going to skip ahead because honestly, you'll fall asleep watching it. Okay, I did the shrine. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was just like, shoot this construct in the head. And I did that, and then it was like, well done, now shoot three more. Like, I think the, the the reason I have a problem with those ones, and I get it that they're, like, tutorials, so I'm not saying that they shouldn't be in the game. Like, they're not for, like, people like us <laughs> that have probably played the, the previous game. There's a good chance you have. Um, I, I, th I think the problem is it's just the pace of them. I just feel it's a bit like the way it's like, you need to do this. And it's like, okay, and it's like, well done. Now you need to do this. And you can't, like, skip through it at all. And then, like, even at the end, it's like, okay, now you can go to the final chamber, and you can't skip through the text. Like, even, you could have time to read it, and then you've got to wait for ages. Like, the fact that it's, like, something that I don't need to know, and then it skips through it, that's the thing that makes it kind of painful. Anyway, where did that flower go? Can I... Can I climb... Oh, no! Oh, no! Where did, where did the... Fl did the flower go all the way down to the ground? Oh, am I going to have to go back up to, to get that? I didn't... I didn't see where it... Is it, is it on the underneath? Like, I skipped it a few times up there. I've probably been blind and you've all seen where it is. I assumed it was going to teleport to one of these other big mushroomy things. <laughs> but I couldn't see where it goes. There's another Korok thing there. Right, I've got to work out where this, thing's, uh, where this thing's gone. Because I do need to upgrade my inventory even more if I can. Right, I couldn't find where it went. So I've just um, teleported back to the shrine. Just in order to get back up here. So I do this. Then it goes there. Oh, it's there! Okay. I mean, that's a little bit harder for me to, to spot, to, to be fair. I was so sure it was going to teleport to, like, one of these other mushrooms. Or maybe it will now. Or it's just going to go down, like, the nose of this big horse <laughs> at this other uh, staple. But there we go. We've got another one. And there's another one of the, uh, as I said, the Koroks down there that needs to be uh, shepherded somewhere. Uh, but first, let's uh, ask around the, the stable, because sometimes there's like little side missions 
in these stables. So you can tell if they're going to give you a mission just because they have like an exclamation mark above their head. Oh, what's this? This guy's trying to solve a mis uh, mystery. Hmm, is something bothering you, young man? Oh, oh, could it be this bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say this picture is of a beast that's been rumoured to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Mm. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Prince Zelda herself has seen travelling with the beast. Look at those tusks, what a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? If I were younger, I'd like to hike all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumours. Hmm. That's not like some mad interpretation of Ganon, is it? Just worry, just because they say that their uh, <laughs> Zelda is uh, is travelling with them. That's the uh, the only thing that gets me uh, a little bit worried. Uh, right then, let, let's go up to this uh, this little Korok and see if we can uh, help them find their buddy, shall we? Hopefully, they're not a uh, not too far away. Hmm, they're a decent distance. And uh, oh, okay, there's like a, a wagon thing. Oh, is this like a is this like an already uh, built wagon? So I do have some more like uh some more stuff that I can play around with some more um what is the what is this stuff called so I know these are capsules Oh so zo zoni devices there we go I got some more zoni devices to play around with that was the other uh, word I was looking for All right let's try and uh, line that up pretty well there and then no 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 not yet not yet I say you can stay there it's going to go again isn't it right I might have to uh set it to rewind and then it should stay in place, I believe. Oh, is it, it going to go back down to uh, <laughs> to where it was before? Right, let's cancel the, the recall. And let's just go and drag it back, shall we? Don't make me take one of your wheels off if you're going to keep roaming off like that. Okay, there we go. It seems to have it a little bit more stuck on this hill. Let's put you in. And then I'm going to jump in. So, uh, I'm probably going to have to add power. But I might get a decent distance just from uh, just from gravity by the looks of things. Okay, gonna it got me a little bit of the other way there. Now we might need to uh, to power this thing. So uh, let's put it in a place where it's not gonna start wandering off. And then what do we have? So I could put a fan behind it. I mean, yeah, fans. To be honest, kind of my uh, my only option. To to be fair. So let's um let's uh oh if I can actually get it out. Yeah, there we go. Let's drop that out. And then one fan should be enough. It's only like a little wooden cart. Let's go put that on the, the back there. All right, I've got to be careful now because I, I don't want to hit it with too strong of a, of a thing because I've done that in the past and then I've ended up just destroying the thing that I'm on. So if I do that, that should set it off going. Okay, that's good. And oh, oh I haven't lined it up the best though. Okay, tell me, let's, let's stop. Let's stop. No, no, oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Stop. 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 Stop, I say. Stop! There we go. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, let's read. I mean, we're almost there anyway. To be honest, this one was so close, I might as well have just walked there. But you know what? They obviously wanted me to, to play with the cart, and I am uh, not one to, to say no. So I got to to build my little cart. As I said, I'm desperate to, to mess around with uh, with all of these uh, these features. Right, let's put the uh, the fan back on. And go and say, oh, we've got some some friends <laughs> trying to, to chase after us. Bye! See you later! Bye bye now, and we are almost there. So let's go and uh, stop the fan. We can roll the rest of the the way, and then go and uh, deliver the the friend. There we go. That was um, that worked all right, didn't it? All right, let's go and get you out of the the car. It looks like our skeleton buddy has uh, completely given up on us, which is fine by me. So we should get a uh, two Korok seeds for for this. Has been the uh, the going rate for these so far. Yep, and indeed, two Korok Seeds. So there we go, I'm already up to nine. I've been doing pretty good with Korok Seeds so far. I've not looked up, like, how many there are in the game. Because wasn't there, like, 900 or something in the uh, in, in the last game? So, uh, it feels like I'm doing good, but I'm sure I've got, like, literally, like, 3% of them so far. All uh, right, let's make sure I'm still traveling in the, the right way. Let's put, um... Uh, let's, let's, let's put, like, a marker... I know it doesn't seem to make much sense because there's a marker there anyway. Just so I know that I am following the, the right one on the, the map. Actually, no, I don't need that because I know it's the one in the northwest anyway. I should be able to, to work it out. Like, I, I've long realised that we're not re going to reach <laughs> Rito Village today. But we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can make some good progress in that, uh, in that direction. Right, I realised I was kind of heading off in the wrong direction. 
basically from the shrine, I was heading off that way for some reason, when I should have been heading this way. So I just teleported back to the, the shrine, and I found this, uh, this Korok seed. And I say wrong direction, I kind of said that with, like, <laughs> imaginary inverted commons, uh, commas, because there is never really a wrong direction to, to travel uh, in this game, which is kind of why I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, we are now heading in the... Uh, the intended direction that I wanted to, to set out in uh, when I started today's episode. Although there is like a giant ravine here. I'm wondering whether I should try and cross it. So it looks like there's a place there that look, looks be built to, to climb up. Or there did seem to be a bridge further up. How big is this ravine? My god, it's enormous. I mean, there's definitely something cool down there. So we will be going down there at some point. Oh, there's a Hinox? Where's- oh, hello! I did not see- oh, I want to try out a strategy. I want to try out a cool strategy that I saw online for, uh, for these things. It might be a little difficult to do, considering <laughs> that it's right on me already, and I was, a uh, I was not very prepared for this. But let me, uh, let me, uh, let me try this out. So apparently if you cut down a tree, and it might be better if I fuse a couple trees together- Oh, no, don't- did he steal my- did you steal my tree? Oh, do you know what I could do? If he tries to throw it at me- I could try and recall it and send it back to him. I can't believe he picked up my tree, though. Can I stop? Oh, I can't set it to recall. Maybe if you throw- Oh, he did throw- he did throw it, though. Did he throw it? I can't see it. Oh, it's just, like, disappeared. Okay, well, let's try it again. And hopefully he, uh, he won't steal my tree. Actually, you know what? Because it's a f- I, I got an even better idea. Because it's a thunderstorm- Let's draw- oh yeah, look at this mad weapon I made with like one of those gliders on the end of it. <laughs> uh, let's- let's- let's grab this with Ultra Hand. Keep it well away from me, but see if we can get it to- to shock him with electricity. Look, if I just keep that there... Is it- is it- oh, is he gonna throw that at me? Oh, he was trying to hit it at me. Is it not- is it not gonna- well, maybe I need to drop it? And then is it- is it, is it not gonna get shot by the- uh, the electricity? Oh, is it, is it not moment? Is it not metal? Maybe it's not metal. Okay, let's try it with this because this is this is definitely sparking. Is 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 this gonna is this gonna get conduct the electricity? I don't know if it is. You know, I don't know why it isn't though. Because normally when you have a metal thing on the the floor. Okay, so let's let's go back to a uh, to original plan. Seen as a uh, as that plan didn't work. I thought I was being clever, but uh, I guess not. Let's pick this up before uh, before he grabs it, if I can. It's going to let me turn the camera. There we go. So the the idea is, is that I sp uh, I think I, I spin it. So if I sp if I spin this like this, <laughs> and it might seem like a completely bad thing to do. Let's kind of move it around a little bit as well. So I'll keep it spinning, keep it spinning, keep it spinning. Or oh, let's try and get it straight again if we can. Okay, and then now I'm going to recall it. And so it should keep spinning, and then it should hit him. Oh, there we go! <laughs> it, it, did, it did the smallest amount of damage conceivable! Right, I'm not, I'm not gonna give up on my plan. I want to, to, I, I want to kill this Hinox. But I don't, don't you steal my log. Don't you steal my log. I want to kill this Hinox Hon Hin without touching him. That's my plan. Not directly touching him. Let's do the same again. But let's attach something to it. Let's attach a flame emitter to it. Do I have any flame emitters? I do. Right. i got to be careful to, to not set fire to the log I'm attaching it to. <laughs> this, this would have all worked better if I, um... If I'd stop stealing my logs, he's so annoying. Why does he keep taking my logs? We're gonna run out of woods here. <laughs> right, let's let's get get this log. And oh no, I've set the flame a bit off. No, no don't go in yet, yet, because you're gonna you're gonna break my tree. Right, let's let's. But don't you steal my log? Don't you don't you dare? Don't he's gonna do it as well, isn't he? He's gonna do it. Look at him. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, <laughs> there we go. The flame emitter is attached. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be attached, but it should do. So right, let's set this going. No, I broke. <laughs> I broke the log. I broke the log. Oh dear, right. Let, let's get my let's get my flame emitter. Luckily, don't you break? Did you break my flame? Did you break my flame emitter? He did not. He broke my flame. He sat on my flame emitter. I can't believe he sat on my. This guy is like he's not damaged me at all, but he's just going out of his way to annoy. You know what? Can I like? Can I just get up this hill? And then I can <laughs> just set up, set up my contraption, and then go back down, 
and then we can just start from the beginning. I'm really, I really don't know why my lightning idea worked. I thought that was, um, I thought that was quite a smart idea, if I'm honest. Let's, let's see, because I might be able to attach a couple logs together, and maybe use two flame emitters. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, let's not worry about the flame emitter. Let's just see if there's, um, if there's something else we can put. Actually, look, there's a bunch of logs down this hill here. So let's not worry about that one. Let's try and get down here quickly. And uh, what should we uh, what should we try and put on it then? What about just like this thing, this like this spiky thing? If we if we could just put this onto the log, and I want to do this very quickly. Oh, where's it gone? Is this it here? Is this it? Oh, I don't know where. Oh, where did my where did my thing go? Did it roll down the the hill? All right, let's try it again. Uh, maybe I did. I just didn't drop it. All right, let's go. Let's go get something good and spiky. Let's do one of the ones that has the high fuse attack power because that's probably going to do more damage. And it shouldn't destroy it either. I should be able to, to use it again. There we go. This time it dropped. So let's go and grab that. I need to turn it around so the pokey side is facing out. I've attached it. Oh no! Oh, it fell off. Okay, that's just because the uh, the log was rolling. If I get it right in the middle of the log, it might be okay. Okay, there we go. Right, we are set. So now I just need to spin it, and then I need to keep kind of just moving around and spinning it in places that he's likely to, to be. So let's kind of try and go in a big circle here, and then hopefully it will uh, it will just chase after him. So right, that should be enough. So let's go to rewind it, and let's see if this is gonna do any, uh, any damage against him. <laughs> Did it? Did it do any damage against him? You know, I th I think the uh, I think the flame emitter is gonna be the the way to, to go. You know, let's uh, let's 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 go back to. <laughs> oh, dear. this should have been such an easy fight. This actually reminds me of another comment that made me laugh, where it was um, was it one of the earlier episodes where I just needed to to cross like a small area, and so I um, oh I could put oh, I could cover it with bombs. I could cover it with bombs. Let, let, oh, let, let, let's cover a log. With bombs, shall we? And then let's uh, let's see how that plays out. Right, let's uh, oh <laughs> come back, come back, log. Right, let's attach that. And then oh yeah, because look, because then if he tries to grab it, it might. Oh no! Okay, he actually okay, he's actually damaged me now. Uh, let's have uh, something to eat. If I die after this, yeah, it reminded me of a comment where I just had to to cross like a, a small area, and then. Oh yes, there we go. That set that set one of the bombs off. If this lures towards him, there we go. That did all right. Oh, there's a bunch of little babies. Oh, all these bombs are getting set off though. <laughs> at least I at least I took out those. <laughs> yeah, it reminded me of a comment. So I just across a small area, and I was meant to just build a raft. But I like built like a giant boat, and they were literally commenting saying like, "Why did you build a big boat when you just needed to like do a raft?" And I was like, "You do not know me at all. Like why?" Why did I build an entire fun land when I could have just built like a house with a bed and a crafting table, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's it's the point of these games. Uh, right, let's go and uh, see if we can quickly put this on here. And then, you know what, rather than trying to do my rewind thing, I might just turn it on and then just like point it at him and then just use it as like a giant flamethrower thing. So let's once again be careful that I'm not going to break this or set myself on fire. So let's set this off going. And then let's uh, let's just point it at him. Is that doing anything? Wait, do, do, does the does the flame emitter just not even damage him? Okay, I do not believe that the uh, the flame emitter does anything. <laughs> let's uh, let's go try and start this spinning round, and then maybe uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good because he's going to walk into this now because he's getting all distracted. So as soon as he starts heading in my direction. Hopefully, I can keep him just standing in that for ages. I just wish it was like something big, but something maybe of like with a spiky rock on it. It's like, oh, where's he going? Why is he wandering off now? Has he like, has he just given up on me? Has he, has he, has he literally just got like bored and left me? You know, this actually might give me a, a chance to, uh, to make this better. It'd be good to add, as I said, another another log to it. I'm not going to give up on uh, taking this guy out. Let me uh, let me try and build something to do this more effectively. Maybe we kind of left his like his area that he's meant to, to hang out in. Okay, I'm just putting on the uh, the finishing touches to my uh, <laughs> my destruction weapon. So I, I was just making, I was just sticking things together. I really ended up looking like a person, so I kind of committed to that. So there's just like spiky bits all over it, all over its head and stuff. Flame emitter in one of its arms. Then the legs, just because of the angle, they ended up like sticking upright, but that's okay. So let's um, let's drop one of these and uh, go and put that down on the uh, the other foot. This is this is going to be my my weapon 
of destruction that I'm going to go and use to take it out. I did see, by the way, they, they just went to sleep. I think they got bored of the fight because it was taking so long and I was doing so rubbish that they decided to, to just go to, to sleep. But anyway, here we go. Here is my, my weapon of a... <laughs> <laughs> my weapon of a uh, Bokoblin destruction. <laughs> it's my killer stick man. Literally stick man. Or I guess log man. <laughs> right, it's battle time. You know, I'm not going to stress about the flame emitter for now. Because I'm going to, I need to set it spinning before I start rewinding. So let's, uh, let's just try to get, let's just get this spinning here. So then when he starts walking here, hopefully he'll kind of just get stuck in this while trying to, to get towards me, and then that will actually do some damage. And then maybe I could try and shoot the uh, the flame emitter with an arrow as we go. So right, it's, oh, it's spinning! Oh, it did some damage! Oh no, his head's fallen off! Oh, the humanity! Oh, the humanity! Right, keep spinning! Keep spinning! Oh no, it stopped, it stopped spinning! <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to grab just the, the body, and we'll try again. Right, okay, I'm spinning it, but he's, he's kind of a little bit in the... Uh, a little bit in the way. I don't know if the, the spikes on it is actually doing any difference whatsoever. <laughs> this, is, this is doing like next to nothing. But let's go this way. Then let's try and go like back around. Oh, I don't know why the menu went up there. Oh yeah, go back around the, the other way. And see, <laughs> see if that can take him out. You know, my, my plan of taking him out without touching him. Not entirely sure how... Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, not entirely sure how possible that is. But I am... Um, I've not quite given up yet. But my destructive stick man has not proven to have been quite as destructive as I may have first thought. Oh, here we go. Getting some good spins here, though. It does some damage. It doesn't, it doesn't do nothing. But it only does slightly better than nothing. So I need to try and lure him back to where this was spinning. And did, oh, did it hit him then? Like a, a tiny bit? <laughs> It's just ain't gonna work. <laughs> right. I throw in the towel. I'm just gonna take this guy out. I, I've given up now. What's what's what, what's my best? Okay, let's see how quick I can actually kill him normally. Without trying to be stupid. If I if I wait, let's let's try and dodge this attack. Oh, he just threw the log at me. Was that was that a bit of Mr. St I think that was a bit of Mr. Stickman, you know, which I think is just disrespectful. Right, let's try and get a big spinning attack. Oh, he's always oh, doing a sitting attack. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I guess uh me actually trying to take him out <laughs> very quickly didn't work out very good anyway. Right, let's, uh, do I have anything? Ah, yes, this is going to boost my, uh, defense, which will be very helpful. Right, let's, uh, let's try and start spinning if we can. And try and do a bit. Oh, okay, I didn't actually do that much. So the thing is, is he's got protection on his legs, but I might be able to burn them off because they kind of look like they're made out of wood. So if I shoot this at his legs, is that, oh, I don't know if I, if I hit it then, because you would assume... That that would aha, and it has oh, and it's got him um going crazy about it burning as well. So this might give me a chance to get some uh, some good hits in, and there we go. Now I'm doing some uh, some good damage. Right, I'm gonna have to back up a bit because I think he's gonna try and sit on me or something again by the looks of it. And you're meant to shoot him in the eye, right, aren't you? But he has got a uh, another one of those leg guards which I could set on fire. And uh, above just the uh, the fact that it's exposing his legs, it's also a great opportunity for me to do my damage. Oh. What happened to my oh I think my uh, my weapon broke though unfortunately. So let's uh, let's use this instead. There we go. That's doing some uh, much better damage. I need to be careful. Oh I saw that coming. Oh I thought I okay, I think I dodged most of it in time. So now let's uh, let's just go for the eyeball. Let's shoot a banana, a mighty banana into his eyes. The thing that does the uh, the ma the max damage. I don't know why they've they've listed it wrong in this menu here because I I meant to be ordering it by how much fuse damage it does, but the uh, the mighty bananas I mean, I wouldn't want a banana to get him into my eye. I don't know about you. Right, let's see if we can get a big spinning attack here. There we go. This is what's doing the damage. Picking up lizards as we go. And oh no! Oh, I, I thought I thought I had him dead. I thought I had him, but he was able to to sit on me once again. But he is so weak now. I just need to be careful not to to somehow mess this up. Let's just. I just need to dodge one more attack. Then I should be able to take him out. There we go. Okay, I got him. My, my blade is almost destroyed, but I was finally able to, to take him out. Can we all just have a, um, a brief moment of silence to remember the, uh, the, bra <laughs> the brave sacrifice <laughs> that Logman gave to this battle? He gave it all. He gave everything he had, and he fell to pieces. But we were able to destroy the Hinox. So thank you, giant Logman. 
you will forever be remembered. Okay, there we go. That's our moment of silence. Let's make sure we can pick up all of the uh, <laughs> all of the important bits <laughs> that uh, that that didn't fall off from here. We can go and grab uh, all of them. There, there is a strategy that is to do with what I was kind of trying to do, where you do kind of have it spinning and you can take them out. Maybe it needs to be with something heavier than the log, or maybe it's something that was in the game and isn't anymore. I don't know. But there, there was at some point uh, a strategy. Uh, where you could uh, do something uh, along those lines. Uh, so yeah, I was going to go and climb up that way. Uh, I've now realised that's probably not a good idea because it is raining, so uh, I wouldn't be able to, to climb up very well. So uh, instead, uh, I will keep wandering uh, along the uh, the edge of this um, giant chasm here, uh, this giant canyon, and uh, yeah, head my way to the, the bridge. And then let's see, from the, the bridge... How far? So we go over the bridge there, and then we kind of just need to double back on ourselves, and then we're almost at Rito Village. So, as always, it's been an episode full of uh, distractions around every turn, <laughs> but I had some fun. Hopefully, uh, you did uh, as well. But yeah, that is going to be the uh, the end of this uh, episode here. Um, as you've, uh, as I keep reminding you, uh, don't stress though, because um, the chances are the next video is out already. The uh, the speed upload load uh, I'm uploading these, so uh, we can get back straight to the uh, the adventure. No worries. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this one here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!